Hello Denizens! I've been using Final Cut Pro since version 1. It has always been an innovative product, and even when it cost $1200 for its bundle of tools, including DVD building and burning software, it was totally worth it, especially coming from our previous Avid platform, which cost us $60,000. It was a bargain. When Final Cut Pro 10 came out with its innovative and controversial magnetic timeline, as well as many missing in action features like multicam that uh, was in previous versions, like my existing version 7 of Final Cut, uh, FCPX did not seem fully baked, and I remained with version 7 until my cheese grater Mac Pro just could not handle the updated codecs and the heavy lifting of the larger video requirements. Apple ties many, many updated features to its OS update, so if you don't update the OS, you don't get the latest and greatest. Final Cut 7 would not work with any OS, I think, beyond uh, El Capitan, if, if I can recall. Uh, I had been toying with FCPX all that time and just could not make it work for me, and then there was a point upgrade. I, I think it was 10.4.2 or, or something, and suddenly, with that one point upgrade from 1 to 2, Apple had solved a ton of issues. Suddenly, I was no longer fighting it, and there were new management features, and then another upgrade soon after added color grading options, improvements to the interface, and now I just love the speed with which I can edit with FCPX. But Adobe's lumbering ball of chewing gum and string, Premiere, had started to wake up, and DaVinci Resolve went from color grading curiosity to legit EDL, and suddenly Final Cut was looking a tad old. Apple has just released a 10.4.9 update. Some of its highlights include more proxy options, great social media options, better handling of square and vertical video for those wretched Instagrammers, thank you. We'll be able to adjust ProRes RAW camera settings such as ISO, color temp and exposure offset using the inspector. The, these are all welcome updates. Uh, we can finally add crossfade audio using a simple keyboard shortcut. That, that took a while. Some 360 degree video improvements, which I, I don't care about, I don't use. But um, what has still not been addressed are Final Cut Pro's supremely out of date transitions and titling options. They are old. I think they are the same ones that were in the first version of Final Cut, and they were cheesy back then, and now they're just plain embarrassing. Let's take a look at a sampling of some of the goofy shit Final Cut Pro still offers. Uh, so we've got these two, uh, you know, pieces of video here, my, my, my sped up pool, time lapse pool build, and then my trip through downtown Young Street. We don't need to hear me say that over and over again. Of course, the classic cross dissolve, I'm not going to say anything about that. The 3D rectangle, let, let's take a look at this classic. And, uh, you know, maybe you people can vote on them. No, you know what? I don't think we need that. That, that I, I don't think we need. The bloom. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. What does everyone think? Well, I don't mind that. Arrow. Oh, this does not look good. I, th I think. I mean, I've looked at all of these before. <sighs> Again, it depends on how cheesy you want something to be. Uh, you know, I might use that if I'm trying to purposely do something that looks stupid. But again, how many people are actually uh, going to use that now or are using that now? Anybody with taste? Um, oh, my God. Again, eh. Might be useful, but super old. The black hole. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> that's, that's, that's okay. That's terrible. Center. Yeah, these are classic dissolves from the old, old, not Chiron days, but the old tape days. That one's fine. Big deal. Uh, the checkerboard. And why we have to live with these old video formats, I, I have no idea. Ah, boring. Don't need that. The Chevron. I'm never using these. Like, these are, ah, fine. It's, it's a dissolve. 
it's a, it's a soft edge fade, a circle. The circle fade. Do ah sure, keep that because it's a classic. The clock, of course, the clock. <laughs> Uh, I guess the point is Apple needs to add to this because while, you know, there might be a place for this old style stuff, especially if you're trying to create a mood, uh, I, I don't know who's using it regularly. Okay, so. Oh, okay, yeah, it's grabbing a bunch of stills and doing it. Eh, fine. I think that's still cheesy. The clothesline, I don't have a lot of hope for this. <laughs> no, <laughs> this can go. The color panels transition. Let's see what. Oh, this looks like a 1960s black exploitation film opening. I'm, I might as well keep that. Uh, how many times do you folks out there use any of these transition and and how often do you use them if you use them at all oh, it's horrible i think people are just doing you know quick edits cuts uh, people are uh, that's terrible too people are now used to you know youtube has trained everybody to uh, not have to worry about hiding transitions and they're just cutting again unbelievably cheesy i was using that in the 90s the cube transition the curtain transition okay i'll i'm, I'm i'll keep this one that this one has to stay <laughs> this one's too good <laughs> the curtain transition i i like it i wonder if i can change the color of the curtains ah that's okay the, the diagonal, the directional transition. Eh, you know, that's not so horrible. Soft transitions aren't, uh, aren't so bad. Again, you know what? We don't want to bring attention to the transition. Oh, you know what? That's old style, movie fun. The doorway. Okay, so that brings that 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 screams screams transition. That I guess that's really my point is I don't think anyone is using these things. They're, they're no longer hot. Oh, the smashing. It might be okay if we attach it to some kind of text, uh, but then it looks like we're working with PowerPoint or Keynote. Uh, I don't see any use for that. The duplicate. Hmm. Yeah, what's killed it is that we no longer are interested in hiding our bad cuts at one point. Oh, the earthquake. Nope. Lose it. Fade to color. Well, that, okay, that, um, that's, that's, I mean, obviously we need to, we need to keep that. The fall. Nope. Gone. Stupid. <laughs> the flash. Ah, yeah, that that uh, that can be useful in a stylized way. The flashback. <laughs> oh yeah, have to keep that. That absolutely have to keep flashback. You can't can't have a video system without that. Hmm, old school, still useful. The Gaussian blur transition yeah that's that one i'm i the gaussian image gradient image i need new glasses i don't know what it does differently i'd have to check the settings of it uh this one's the wipe the inset wipe let's see that again yeah could could be useful leaves <laughs> we can we can lose that one the lens flare oh no no forget it gone letter x if you're doing the mutants gone 
Light noise. Gone. The mosaic. This does not sound good. Uh, you know what? Has its place. It's super cheesy. The multi. Oh, I add other stuff to it. Again, these are all things from the video days. They're not very cinematic. Um, I don't know. I, I could lose that one. The multi-flip. <laughs> lose. Page curl. I know what the answer to this one is. Keep, of course. No, <laughs> we can lose the page curl. The pinwheel. Lose. Push. Push, push. Ah, that's useful. That's kind of fun, actually, the puzzle. You know what? I don't mind the ones that draw attention to themselves as long as you know, they have a really good stylistic function. The radial. Now, old style, lose. Reflection. Lose. <laughs> Terrible old style. Ripple. Lose. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, the rotate. <laughs> lose. Scale. Ah, you know what? That's a classic. Keep keep that. The simple. Well, this just looks like a cross dissolve, but no. Simple's good. Don't mind that. The slide. Yep, there's value in that. And it looks like it's got uh, edge softening, which is good. I, I actually, I could have sorry, used that more often. Sorry for burping at you. That's the smear, gone. The spin, <laughs> okay. The, oh, man. Uh, gone, gone. The square, squares, has its place. The star. <laughs> oh no, I have to keep that. That that you can't lose. This is the static. Nope, gone. Gone. Swap. Oh, it's such a video. <laughs> I'm keeping that one. It just reminds me of my cable days. Three quarter inch. And now the thing is uh, okay, uh, this the swing, forget it. Uh, what's funny is that these effects you uh, took up so much bandwidth that you had a separate generator doing that. No, <laughs> what was that? The switch, gone, no. And the basic uh, editor couldn't really handle this kind of power. So you had a separate, and, oh, that's kind of interesting. The veil, uh, let's see that again. No, gone. I don't know who's using these. I'd really like to know. So these, these, uh, nope, gone. What's that? The vertigo. Uh, video wall. Well, we've seen one similar to this. Ah, keep that one. Again, things that are super cheesy, that have value, I'd keep. So uh, that's, again, this just another wipe has a soft edge which is useful. I don't know how it's different from the other one, but I don't care right now. Uh, and we had to have a separate device just to be able to grab the the image. Okay, that's zoom. Uh, keep it. Zoom and pan. And that used to be a huge expense. And now, you know, this can all be done in software. It's not, not an issue, but boy, uh, zoom and pan. Uh, doesn't seem like it adds much. Still more, oh my God, central reveal. Gone, no. Slide in. No, gone. Pan down. 
Uh, it looks like it grabs some stuff here. Oh, this is a uh, iMovie transition. Unless you're trying to do something like redo the movie RV or something, I don't see the point in, in that. I, no, I, I would lose these unless you can control the backgrounds. Maybe you can control the background and... And I just don't, okay, so that's garbage. Don't need any light sweep. Oh, this does not look good. <laughs> no, gone. Okay, then we've got all these pre-done ones here again, right out of iMovie. Uh, parallels across. Oh, okay, let's see what that is. No, gone. I'm not even gonna look at parallels random. Close and open. Oh, no. I'm not going to look at slide. Heart. This does not bode well. Okay, let's see what this does. I guess if you're doing wedding movies, this is... That's fine. Loop is the same. I think the same idea. These are just so specific and recognizable that's that's the problem and if other people are using them then oh yeah this is i'm just going to do one here this is another iMovie transition uh, I, I could lose all of these don't need that and these are iMovie pre-packaged ones so that's that's really that's really it for the for the transitions let's take a look at the effects here now so let's get back to the top here. Color board, we know um, 60s TV. Yeah, that's fine. Aged film, ah, that's always useful. These are like LUTs. These are quick, quick LUTs. And so it's just a question of how bad. That's horrible. All right, we don't need that. Again, way too stylized and, and I don't know what you would use it for. Alien Lab, that's, that's fun. Artifacts. No, can can lose lose that artificial light again. Yeah, the stuff that have luttish kind of an an effect. Okay, so this is aura, uh, groovy. <laughs> it's amazing what can be done in the computer now compared to the old video days. And the video was much more was much simpler. It was only SD standard definition. Yet the amount of power that was required to create these kinds of effects were astounding. You would be paying tens of thousands of dollars for separate uh, machines to create these. Now, again, like I said, it's all done with the same processor. So then we could lose this background squares, bad TV. Oh, these things are used so often. Although I, I don't mind them as fun quickies, black and white. Again, it's a lot. Bleach and bypass, sure. Bloom, it's a lot ish. Boca random, Boca random, nope, lose it. Brighton, sure. Broadcast safe, what's broadcast safe anymore? <laughs> that used to be important. Camcorder, I hate this. I would love it if this thing was killed or at least make it look like a real camcorder. I even see this in feature movies. Uh, <laughs> please, please fix this. In fact, whenever I've done something like this, I've made my own. Just so they look uh, prop cartoon. I I like the cartoon ones, actually. Uh, those, uh, I've used them quite a lot. The, this cast, uh, sensor. I guess you can adjust that. I've never used it. Cold CCD. Yeah, again, these are lut, luttish. Cold steel combat uh, combat comic basic that's fun i've i've used these comic cool i i don't mind these at all uh these can have a very useful effect especially when you're an idiot like me doing stupid crap comic sepia lo love these all comic vintage uh, people have actually commented uh, whenever i've used these how did you do it well i just applied 
<laughs> and then we've got cool, cool tones. Yeah, these, uh, these uh, crisp contrast. Very, very useful if you don't have, let's say, the uh, library of VLUTs that uh, do maybe a little bit more subtle job uh, with these. Um, one of the nice things about working with Vlog is, and the Panasonic, I was able to um, download a whole library of uh, what's their cinema camera, the very, very something uh, camera, and a whole crap load of LUTs that I'm able to apply to my vlog footage and it's it's great cross hatched look okay we can lose that custom lut while well, you apply your lut by selecting this and dragging it onto your footage day into night oh yes the classic day into night dazzle i don't know desert glare dew dim directional i don't know what that is the kind of these then the Mask, very important. I use that all the time. Dream, sure. Droplet. Okay, we can lose that. <laughs> dry, fine. Dry heat, dust. Fine. Earthquake. What's this? Is this supposed to be shaky? I haven't tried that one before. Faded sun, fall. So I'm just assuming that these are all going to work. Fish eye. Man, looks pokey to me flashing oh that has a place flipped again a quick way to flip things frost frame funhouse uh no gaussian blur uh, i've used that that has value glass blocks no glory glow graduated mask yes i've used this Again, it has it has purposes, it has use for it. Graphic, it's kind of cartoony. Halftone, nope, can lose that. Handheld, uh, you know what? I've actually used this to create kind of a, a fake handheld experience. Hard light, HDR tools, I'm not going to talk about that. Heat, heat wave, highlights, hue saturation. Again, that's just applying your tools. Image mask, indie red, insect eye, nope, can lose that. So again, these are the things that make Final Cut Pro look old. I, I Either this should be improved or just get rid of it. Intro flashes. I've actually used that. Isolate. Don't know what that is. Kaleidoscope. No, can lose that. Can lose that. The Kaleida tile, whatever. I can't see. Kyer. Kyer. Here. I don't know what uh, I don't know what that is. I guess it just degrades the video. Letterboxing. Oh sure, big deal. Live screen line screen. No, I can lose that. Luma keyers are obviously the keyers are all important. Memory. Mirror. Uh yeah, you know. <laughs> Why not? Moonlight. Negative. I'm on this acid trip, man. Newsprint. That actually looks kind of interesting. It's not so harsh. I wonder what that looks like if you, um, you know, edit it down to 4K size and then shrink it down to 1080p. You're going to be losing um, the effect. And look at all the moiring on the screen. I, you know what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't use this. Night again. Another night. Night vision. <laughs> I've never used that. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm going to do a combat movie. Noise reduction. Yeah, you use that. Uh, Numer tech. Numer? I wish the text was bigger. Old world. Fine. Pro prospective tiles. Ah, uh, now we can lose that. Photo recall. Lose it. Pixelate. Uh, you know what? That has it has its place. Prism. Eh, that's kind of cool. Projector. Oh, with the fake scratches. You know what? Uh, I can. I would be very happy if people stop making videos with fake scratches on it. But I'm sure it has its place. Quick flash, spin, radial. 
I don't see the point in that. Rain. I've actually used this rain and people went, wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> How did you do that? I just plopped the rain filter on it. Raindrops. Oh, I see. Yeah, you know what? They're, they're, again, if you know how to use this, this could actually fool an awful lot of people. Rasterize. I've used that, unfortunately. Yes, I admit I've used that. Romantic. I don't know what's romantic about it. Sci-fi. What's sci-fi about it? Like now we're getting into stupid stuff. Scraper. Okay, we can lose that. Seasons. Security footage. Main camera. Well, I guess if the if the little items on the screen were actually counting down. 2014. I want does this have the ability to change text? I'm not going to try, try it. Sepia. Again, we're repeating stuff. Sewer. Shadows. Uh, no, I don't need that. Shape mask. Yeah, of course we need that. Sharpen. Yes. Side lights. No, don't see the point in a Simple border. Uh, you know what? Sometimes there's a place for that. Sketch. No, gone. SLR. <laughs> Who knows what an SLR is anymore? We can lose that. Spot. Oh, a little bit of light in the middle. Nah, lose it. Spring sun. Streaks. Nah, I don't know why I would use that. Strife. Uh, a lot of these are just look like repeats of the simple coloring that uh, I've already gone through. Subway shadows. Okay, who came up with that? Summer sun. Yeah, we're just repeating looks now. Text and orange. Okay, so teal and orange. Here's one of the favorite LUT looks in, uh, in commercials, especially. Uh, textures. Not lose it. Threshold. Again, looks like something else. Tile. I uh, could lose that. Tiled squares. Bye. Trails. Bye. Tritone. I, you adjust the colors there. I've used that. Underwater. Bye. Vibrancy. Again, similar to other um, things we've tried. Vignette. I've used this. That's a uh, very handy vignette mask. I've never used this. This is a bit too aggressive. Visual echo. Well, yeah, maybe if you're a fancy quick cut editor person. Warm, again, looks like some of the other fake LUTs we tried before. Water pane. Um, yeah, that would certainly be useful. Uh, wave. Nope, gone. Winter sun. Looks like other stuff. X-ray. This looks like the reverse film from earlier. Zoom. That's actually a really bad fake zoom. So we could lose that. So now let's go to our titles and transitions, 3D basics. This is where things start getting really old looking. Transitions from, the, from a bygone era. I, I don't know who uses these. Um, it looks like they're from Expo 67. This one here, of course, uh, I use all the time. This is from iMovie. We can lose this. This is the stuff that makes Final Cut Pro look old. Another classic. Welcome to 1970s News Show. And this one, of course, we can't live without. <laughs> Boogie Nights. Even the typeface. Wow. That's just horrible. Uh, bump Basic. Bump with Logo. Yeah, there's a place for that. That's not so bad. Centered, these are some simple ones. Again, they Apple needs to change what the de the de default text is. I, I know this is easy to change, but this just does not work anymore. And it drives me nuts that 
uh, right off the bat, I know that I got to change the text on these these headings. They're they're terrible. Uh, the clouds. Okay, this is from iMovie. Dramatic. What's dramatic? Let's see what dramatic. What I'll we'll use that. Sure. I would I would definitely I would definitely use that title. Drifting. I've I've seen this. So okay, I I, I could lose lose that. Energetic. That doesn't seem very energetic. I could lose that one. Fade. That looks pretty obvious. Yeah. I mean, that's good standard title. Fade 3D. Then, of course, we've got this in a galaxy far, far away. Absolutely cannot lose this. Although I've, I've tried to use it, and it, I still can't quite figure out how to load up the text on it because I keep screwing it up. Oh, that's kind of tasteful. Feature. Yeah, so we need more stuff like that. This is nice. Title template. Ferris wheel. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you know, that's kind of interesting. Very movie-like. I've never used it. It's stuff like this. Ah, yeah. Again. Transitions from a bygone era. Fold. Yep. Lose it. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Again, it's a lot of it is just the typeface that they've they've chosen. Glow, horizontal blur. Ah, that's a okay. Again, standard. Then we've got ink. This is the kind of crap that. We need Apple needs to lose instant replay. <laughs> well, I'm laughing at it, so I'm keeping it. That that has to that has to stay. Keynote title sub. So okay, if you're doing an information video, then this has its uses. Although I love the Microsoft graded gradient background knockdown let's see that on its own uh, it, it, it it feels like an old european movie i don't i don't see the value in this stuff knock out well that's kind of cool that i don't mind notice i haven't tried these in a long time lens flare does not bode well nope gone lens flare I'm just going to keep a uh, loose leaf. Keep going here. Oh, yeah. I think that's an iMovie one. Lose it. A lot of this stuff uh, is what's being used in corporate video. Another era. See, I, see I'd see. i lose this. This is, this is useless. So there you go. I'm just, oh, yeah, baby. This one here. I've seen this a couple times lately. You can lose that, that's for sure. Overlap. That's no, fine. Nothing wrong with that. Again, really kind of corporate-y. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for corporate stuff. I'm looking for stuff that will work with my videos. Oh, my God. Oh, wedding title. That screams wedding title. Point. <laughs> wow, I don't know what to make make of that one. That one's called Point. I'd love to get some votes on Point. Pull focus, rack focus. I'm just going to whip through this now. All from another era. I want, I'd like to get something... That's new. I don't know who's using these. That's, oh, the, here's, here's a classic one. No one's using. 
My sound, uh, my sound effects are available from the YouTube library. No, it's not. Stacked. This is from The Prisoner with Patrick McGoon. Oh, there's a, here's a good one. Terrible. Okay, we can lose that. Again, these are slideshow templates. I don't care about that. Title, subtitle, slideshow shit. Yeah, these are these are just uh, well for just regular filmmakers. This is just garbage. Oh, cartoon subtitles. I've never used that. That's not so bad. Again, here's stuff from iMovie. A lot of these are just for corporate video. Oh, this is fun. Welcome to Sports News. Those of you who are doing corporate video, are you actually using any of these these kinds of goofy things? Team versus team. Uh, even even so, I would say that this is still from another time. I, I think there's a place for this kind of stuff. The issue is these should be redone to look like the modern style sports graphics, which are quite dynamic. And this just makes Final Cut Pro look goofy. So I'm completely not against these kinds of graphics, but just update them because these are embarrassing. That's it for the sample demo, but I just wanted to show you a couple things that, that bug me about the way the transitions are applied. So I've done, done this ahead of time. Here's a uh, one of the cheesy effects. So I've applied this effect here just to the, the text. That's all I've done. But you'll notice that it actually grabs the video from below and I don't want that. Now on the tail, you'll see it actually does it correctly. I've put the effect in and all it affects is this particular item here. And when I'm putting text on the screen, sometimes I want to put an effect on and I don't want it to apply to whatever video is below it, but there's just no way uh, to do that. That's, it drives me crazy. On the exit, it's fine. So Apple, if you can fix that, allow us to apply uh, different fades, in-out transitions that only apply to the item that's uh, on top. That's it for my quick overview of things Final Cut needs to update now. A little coat of paint, I, I would call it. A couple of final observations. Universal filter application, well, that would be nice. Right now, I, I make a fake universal layer in motion and add, add my filters to that. It works well enough. I just wonder if there's a better way to do it. And when I copy attributes from an, uh, an adjusted clip, one that already has all sorts of adjustments to it, uh, to one that already has the same or different attributes, I want the default to replace all the existing attributes and not just add on to the existing attributes. I don't want to go into the attributes option and click on and off all the different little checkboxes. It's really tedious. I just hope Apple does not tie a shiny new Final Cut Pro to their upcoming Apple Silicon based computer. That, that would be a drag. Till next time, denizens. So long. Bow, 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 bow.